Hello, beautiful friends. Heather here. This transmission is day 11 of New Earth Frequencies for my 30-day challenge. If you're interested in the 30-day challenge, um, the information is down in the description. And um, this particular transmission, for those of you that have been following along with the 30-day challenge, whether you've just done partials of it or you've been guided to um, engage with the whole thing so far this is it's for everyone it's for the collective but this is specifically also coded for you um this particular transmission like what i was told is that what um you've been engaging with has been preparing you and clearing you and reconfiguring you and all of your beingness to take on these newer as well, they're not new, these other aspects of yourself, of your soul, your soul fractals that are necessary for you to move forward as your um, mission unfolds, your aspect of the mission, whether it's the fact that you're holding particular codes and you're anchoring those co codes and you're radiating, radiate radiating them into the collective. I'm okay over here. I'm just integrating some light. <laughs> um, so it doesn't have to be like a big, huge doing like, oh my gosh, this is my aspect of the mission. Like it might be, it might be super big like that, but it might be just that you're being prepared to embody higher frequencies of light. Um, it might be that your light language is going to get activated or whatever it might be you know, third eye visions or clear audience or your ability to be more fluidly telepathic to receive messages, communicate with these other aspects of your higher self. Um, so let's take a moment and all like drop into our heart space, move our consciousness down into our heart space and connect with our higher self. You can pause the video now, connect with your higher self, your highest version and set your intentions. Listen to what comes through from your higher self. Feel into it and set your intentions. Um, if that is that you want to activate your light language, check in with yourself. Why do you want to do that? Are you doing that from an ego perspective and you, you want to be in, and speak light language? Or do you feel deep in your heart and soul that this is an aspect of you that is calling to be activated? Um, because oftentimes we will ask for things because we think, oh, we think it's exactly what we need. And that might be coming from the old programming, the old system, the old ego programming. Um, so do check in with yourself and then get clear on what your intentions are and set your intentions for this transmission, for activating these soul aspects of yourself to bring you into this higher alignment, put you up on a higher timeline so that you can be of greater service to the whole with global awakening and um, supporting our planet and our collective in this transformation and transitional pro uh, transitional phase. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, so welcome back. If you took a moment to tune in, and um, I love that your intentions are clear and you're focused on what you are calling forth. <sighs> you're fully balanced and aligned, fully balanced and aligned, fully balanced and aligned. And the light flows through you with grace and ease. We're going to anchor the codes with, in our fields, anchoring the codes in our fields and in the grids and into the core of Gaia. We're fully grounded. And we open up to receive for the highest and the greatest good of all. There is so much excitement. 
Prekete a toy, said te te toy, a hesle e a nore, said te 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 toy, a hesle e, release all fear. Prekete a toy, a hesle e a noye, said te te tura, I a hesle e a nore, e, said te 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 tura, is it te 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 aside all those other frequencies that will make you tired so that the light can come in and do what it needs to do. There are so many beings with us right now. Oh my goodness. Your higher selves and these collectives, it is, it is big. And there is a lot of excitement. They are so very proud of all of us here, boots on the ground. asata. <laughs> Okay, this message has been coming through um, and through others, and it's about breathing, you guys. When you're in a space in a lower frequency bandwidth, it doesn't take a lot of work to shift. You can shift in a moment, shift in a moment, in a moment, in a moment, in a moment. You just shift. You just set that intention and you shift. And you can do that with the assistance of your breath. A nice deep breath, breathing in the higher frequency light. Shifting timelines up, 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 up. <sighs> Boom. There you have it. If you don't feel like that's working, that's because you have a belief that it might not. Check on yourself. You could be holding a resistance. If there's resistance, it will just bounce right off and you'll stay exactly where you are. So release the resistance. I release the resistance. I'm breathing in the higher light. I'm raising my frequency now. Shifting a timeline now. Boom, break it there, toy, le hesle, e noia, satay, le hesle, e nora, asata. Spirit wants you to remember your higher self, yourself, the self of you that is more yourself than this self, wants you to remember how powerful you are and how supported you are. You are guiding yourself on this journey. Stay big, you guys. Whatever you're thinking and feeling, you're creating. If you find yourself in situations and feelings that don't feel good, that's your emotional guidance system. Your emotions are telling you, this is not true. This is not healthy for you. These thoughts do not align with your truth. These feelings, these people, whatever it is, do not align with your truth. The emotions are showing you. And they're your guidance system so that you make a change, that you make that shift. Drink lots of water. The water holds the codes. Set your intentions with your water. I work with water on a regular basis. 
If you're eating live foods, those hold water, those hold codes. Work with it. Work with the energies. We're remembering this. As we step into the new world, we will not be doing things the way we did in the 3D. Not at all. That was on the low end of the third density bandwidth. We will not be creating like that anymore. So now's the time to start getting that training in and to start consciously creating. I mean, the door's wide open. We don't have to stay in the cage. The cage is open. So it's about relearning, remembering, retraining, reprogramming. And every time we go through a, a small reprogramming, it opens the door to the next level and to the next level and to the next level. It's not just going to show up as one big thing. It's up to us to take these steps. It's going to make it easier. So take the steps. Trust yourself. I got you. I'm supporting you from this field and from beyond. Know this. Remember this. I love you so very much. And you're doing fantastic. Blessings to you and your family and your friends and all of your ancestors throughout all space and time. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.